Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jensine. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you might notice that I have some different hair. Well, okay, to be more specific, I made this wig. It's my first wig that I've ever made. I'm so proud of myself. I think it just, ugh, it looks so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you follow me on Snapchat or something, it might not be new news, but this is the first time I've worn it and I'm really feeling it. <laughs> so if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. I try my best to put out content around three times a week. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, but I do upload consistently. So today we're gonna be talking about this Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder Highlight. Now they recently launched a new line of baked bronzers and baked highlights. I don't know if there's a, such a thing as a baked highlight, but I'm just going with it. And not too long ago, I reviewed the baked bronzer. So if you haven't checked that out, I will link it up above in the info card and you can just check it out after this video. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love the color scheme they have going on. It's this, in the highlighters, it's this black and gold and then in the bronzers, it's like black and copper. It's really sleek looking. So let me take this out of the bag and, or, out of the box and uh, we'll get to looking at it, swatching it and putting it on. So I just opened it and they give you this cute little info card telling you where to apply the uh, baked highlighter, but they're saying to put it like down your face, you know, in your forehead. I'm not gonna do all that because I don't think it would look proper on me, but I am gonna put it in the normal highlighted areas. And this is what it looks like over here. As you can see, really nice, sleek packaging, easy to carry around with you. And when you open it, ooh, actually, this is a really nice, it's like light brown and orange copper tones in here this is the color dark to deep so this is meant for people with darker skin tones i haven't even swatched this so i have no idea what it's gonna look like but uh yeah let's let's get to swatching it okay so let's swatch it here it comes off as kind of like orangey Ooh. And it looks really nice. It's super, super subtle, you guys. So I think those of you that like subtle highlighters are really going to like this one. More for like a natural, like going to work, everyday kind of look. Okay, so I brought you guys in nice and close. So um, there's our little highlighter here. It's definitely got some coral undertone. So I'm gonna use a stippling brush because personally I want more of a natural highlight today. If I use a fan brush, then that's gonna give me that nice compacted highlight, but not today. So got my little stippling brush and a lot of this actually comes off. So I'm gonna tap my brush to remove the excess. So I just have bronzer on right now. I don't even have any highlight. I know you guys are like, damn, like something's popping there. I promise you that's just my primer. <laughs> um, so yeah, a video, I'll have a whole video coming out in that primer, but let's not get sidetracked. On to the highlights. Okay, so first application, I honestly can't even really tell that it's there. So let's go on with a second coat and I'm not tapping off the excess this time. I don't know you guys, I can't really tell. Can you tell if anything's there? I can't either. Okay, third coat. You know what, this time let's just try a fan brush so we can really pack it on and see if it even makes a difference. Okay, hopefully third time's a charm. see a little bit more of something uh, I don't know you guys I honestly think that my highlight was more popping before I added this maybe it's just me um 
I don't really like it. I don't. I really, really don't. See, okay, look. This is my side without highlight. Boom, popping, looking good. And this is my side with the highlight. I mean, I kind of think that they look the same. I don't even really see much. And I didn't even add it on top here. Just the bottom, as you guys saw. I'm just gonna say, look, if you don't believe me yet, let's get a normal highlight color and I'll show you guys the difference. Okay, so the only thing that I have that's really similar to like a baked highlight is the MAC. It's called a uh, blush topper, but honestly on my skin tone it's more of a highlight. And this is Gold Deposit, such a freaking beautiful color. And let me compare them for you guys. As you can see, I mean, obviously they're slightly different, but same kind of, you know, copper tones. This one is less orangey, but I want to show you guys how much more this one shows up. So do you guys see like the golden hint here? So that's like still very subtle. This other side, I mean, I barely can tell a difference between before. So, I mean, maybe for somebody that has like a more lighter caramel skin tone, I don't know, maybe that's gonna show up, but personally, I really don't think that this is worth your money at all for the price, because it is $28. It needs to show up, it needs to come, it needs to bring it, it needs to do my laundry, it needs to wash my dishes. I mean, no, it's just not worth all the fuss for something that barely shows up when you actually apply it. And I was kind of fooled because on my actual skin, as you guys can see here, it shows up really nice, like a nice corally highlight. And I mean, it really barely honestly shows up when I go to apply it with a brush. So that's really disappointing to me. Um, let me know if you guys have tried this highlight, what your experiences are in the comments because obviously different things work for different folks, so I'm not knocking it just saying it's not for me. That being said, <laughs> I hope you guys found this review useful, and if you did and you liked this, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate it, and I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!